Millions of Americans are traveling this week for Thanksgiving. Airlines expect a record 30 million passengers during the travel rush. The rest are hitting the road. Riley Fletcher with AAA Oklahoma joins us with how to prepare for a holiday road trip as more Oklahomans are heading out of town for the holidays. Riley, thanks for joining us. How are you today? Thanks for having me. Doing well. Thank you. So uh, you're estimating about 9 in 10 travelers or about 442,000 Oklahomans will be driving to their destination. That's up slightly from last year. So what are the best times to travel to avoid all the traffic? It's going to be busy probably regardless, but when's the best time to, to leave? It's going to be really busy Wednesday through Sunday, especially Wednesday. And so the best times to leave if you can before 10 a.m. and after 6 p.m. Tomorrow, we're gonna see a lot of people get off work early and they're gonna leave to see their loved ones a little bit earlier than they might in the normal rush hour traffic hours. So with that, if you can leave in the morning or in the evening, you might miss some of that traffic, but it will be busy on Oklahoma roads the next few days. All right, leave early, that's probably the key. Uh, before hitting the road, it's best to make sure your car can make it. Uh, but what are some of the things that drivers should check their vehicles before heading out if they're taking a, a road trip? Under the hood, check things like your battery, your fluid levels, make sure there's not corrosion present. And then outside your vehicle, check your tires. Make sure your tires are well inflated. The cold weather can deflate your tires a little bit. You don't wanna be driving on the roads if your tires are any bit deflated. And so you can check on the inside of your car for the accurate tire levels that it should be at. And that way you can fill it with air if need be. AAA is anticipating rescuing over 4,000 Oklahomans on the roadside the next few days, and over half of those will likely need a tow. If you can avoid being someone stranded on the roadside, then your travels might be a little bit less stressful. Definitely less stressful. Good advice. Uh, let's talk about gas prices now. They've been going down in Oklahoma. It's 40 cents below the national average. That's good for people staying in the state. It's still expensive. But uh, what about those that are heading to neighboring states? Is it pretty similar to Oklahoma? It depends. So Oklahoma, Oklahoma is one of the 10 states that has a sub $3 gas price right now. And like you mentioned, it is 40 cents lower than the national average. So Oklahomans traveling around the state might see a little bit of a break in their wallet. Surrounding states like Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas will have a little bit lower gas prices. But if you're heading down into Texas, into the Dallas area, your wallet might take a little bit more of a hit. So if you can fill up in Oklahoma, it is one of the cheaper places to get gas in the nation at the moment. All right, Riley, thank you so much. Great advice. Great advice for Tatum. She's going to Texas. So <laughs> thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me.